guys and thanks for watching. I wanted to talk to you today about a new tanning in the shower product. It's by Rimmel. And that's really bright, I know. There's a lot of light showing through my window tonight. Um, it's Rimmel London. It's the Sun Shimmer One Minute Express Application in Shower Self Tan Hydrating Lotion. Got that? Right. Okay, it's an all-over body tanning lotion that you can do whilst you're in the shower. And I thought the concept of this was actually a really good idea because I don't particularly use um, self-tanning products because I don't really like them much. I always think they're really messy. If you've got to leave them on overnight, I don't get the point of ruining all your bed sheets or wearing a onesie to protect everything. I'm not really getting that. So what I tend to use as a self tanner and as the warmer months are approaching, I would tend to use an all over one of the summer bodies. They do them in, this one's Garnier, but Dove do them as well. They're just that gradual tan. So this is basically an all over moisturizer and over the course of a few applications depending on how often you keep topping it up through the week it gives you a gradual tan and that's always worked for me but quite often I've noticed of late that when I've been putting it on my arms the inner aspect of the arm like this sort of underarm skin tends to go a bit rashy I get this little soft rash over the just the inner aspect of my arms if I've put it all over my body I don't get the rash anywhere else just on that inner strip of my arms and it lasts into the afternoon before it fades so I'm a little bit conscious of that because during the day when I'm at work I have to wear short sleeves so I'm aware of it um, so I was looking for basically another product that would give me a bit of tan a bit of color before the actual summer arrived and that's when I found the Rimmel in the shower the concept of this basically is you shower, you wash your body as usual, and then what I tend to do, because you've only got to leave it on for a minute, which is actually no time at all really, I just I stay in the shower but just move the head of the shower off of me, and then um, a couple of squirts, big palmfuls really, and I sort of rub it over as if it's a body wash rub it all over and then when I run out of product I put another splodge on and then go down and go down to my lower body it's two to three big splodges into the palm and then you have to leave it for a minute obviously it's taken a few seconds to put it on from top to bottom so I probably count to about 30 or 40 during that time I condition my hair or something so I'm not wasting too much water and then I go back under the shower and just wash it all off then when you finish showering, you towel off by sort of gently patting, not really rubbing like you would probably normally do, just patting yourself dry. Um, it does say it comes off on clothes, but I can't say I've actually noticed it does that any more than any other holiday sun tanning moisturiser does. Um, I like it. I do like it. I would definitely repurchase it. It actually retails at, I bought mine in Boots. And it's 9 99 Boots had saved £3, so I picked up mine last week for 6 99 That's really the main reason I did actually pick it up. It caught my eye and I thought it was worth trying. Um, yeah, I like it. I used it consecutively for four days. Then on the fifth day, I exfoliated because I did notice it was getting a bit patchy. Um, the very first evening after I put it on in the morning the very first evening I noticed it did have that smell that they say that sort of biscuit cookie smell on your skin I actually don't relate it to biscuits and cookies and I don't dislike the smell but when I went to bed that night and sort of snuggled in under the duvet I was really aware of it and it was quite powerful um, by the second application I didn't really notice that smell and it wasn't at all as powerful that evening when I went to bed that night. Um, so like I say, I tried it for four days, then I exfoliated because I did notice it was patching in places. It was patching a tiny bit on the inner, I don't know if you can see that, you might, like, you might just see a slight dark shadowing there on the inner 
aspects of your elbows and a little bit I noticed as I went down my body my torso tanned quite nicely and my thighs tops of my fronts of my thighs tanned nicely my lower legs sort of didn't most oddly the top half between my knee and my calf tanned and then the bottom half didn't and then my feet did a bit it kind of gradually built up over the four days it is a bit patchy if I look behind me and look down at the back of my knee it kind of stops and starts you got to play with it a little bit um, I think you get that to be fair even with the gradual moisturizing tanners you kind of get it darker in more places than others so it's kind of par for the course really but I think if you're exfoliating regularly it did actually come out really nice tanned it's kind of the color that I do go if I've been abroad I've got some holy jeans on just to see if you can see what color I went or I still am you know it's quite a nice nice brown tanned it's kind of yeah, it's kind of the colour that I go when I have been in the sun. So I was liking the shade that it went. So what I thought I'd probably do now is just give a couple of days break from it, exfoliate again, and then try it again for a couple of, couple of days and see. I, like I say, have been using it four days. I'm probably only about here. I've still got quite a bit left. Um, obviously, if you're doing this quite often, every day, a couple of weeks, and this is going to be empty. But I don't think you really need to do it that much. I think once you get to the level of colour that you want, you can just ease off and exfoliate and then kind of start again. So, on the whole, I would definitely recommend this. I think it's a really good product. If you just get past that first day where it is quite whiffy in a fakey, tanny smell, but if you don't mind it, it's not a big deal. I didn't find it a big deal, like I said. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I'm really liking it and I think for the summer I will definitely be repurchasing it because I don't want to get a rash like I did with the other one. So yeah I hope you like this little review and if you did give me a thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel and I'll be with you again soon with another video. Thanks a lot guys, bye!